Good greetings and welcome fellow patricians to another episode of Let's Play Patrician 3. Alright. Still nine days to fix you up. It'll take forever to get anything done. Alright, back to normal. So, are you in operation now? Well, no, because there's no one working. Is there no... That's plenty of beggars, so it's probably just needs another tick. Well, then we'll wait another tick. Yep. Sheep farm is now ready for use. And Stettin is finally on the siege. Alright, which side are they attacking? They are attacking the side with the beer makers. Yes! No! Something. I should feel something other than those two feelings, because I kind of don't want to lose all the availability of beer, but... If I can set some beer up myself, but I also don't quite have the infrastructure ready yet. Uh, all right, well, still seven days. All right, sheep farm is now hiring people. It's producing. It's probably going to be producing about three wool. I'm not sure if that's season dependent because of course there's not really any grass for the sheep to uh, go on and we'll just assume that sheep produce wool all year round. I don't know. I don't know how long it takes a sheep to get the wool it needs and before it can be sheared. You know, there's plenty of wool here, so overall it's not that bad of a thing to have. Alright, so we are getting close to the end of winter here. Is there anything we're particularly short on? I suppose meat is still a problem. We're producing so much of it. How much are we producing exactly? Uh, I probably should check that in my own store, because otherwise I just get the overall production. We are producing... 5-ish meat. And the town consumes about... 5-ish. It doesn't really give us any overhead. Mm. How is the income? It's plentiful. Good. Good. Let's see, you are producing at full tilt right now? Do we have any shortages of salt or timber? Doesn't look it. that out because meat will always be needed. Four more days. And there's the tax bill. Slight drop in housing. Alright, so this has led to an increase of rich people in the town. So rich people are happier. But it should make the merchant housing a little bit less or a little bit more crowded. Um... I could actually consider building another merchant house then. Oh, once I have cash. Alright, I'm producing hemp here. I don't really need the hemp actually. I don't need that much hemp. I kind of want to improve the production of, uh, the, of the hunting here, but that requires iron goods that I don't have here, so it'll have to wait. Aside from the fact that I just don't have the uh, money. Two more days. 
Right, so... A merchant house. Yeah, that requires a little bit more. Do I have... Do I have anything spare that I can sell? Let's just get the meat. The non merchant house. So. Alright, overall, we're not doing too badly. Any other notices? Fish in Novgorod. Yeah. Novgorod, that's... Ooh. <sighs> What's a good name for this one? The Queen Bee. Where is the bee? Oh, there she is. I like the bee. Make it better. Level 3. I did want to collect them all. One more day. Right. Right, the North Sea angle is ready. So it has all the cutlasses it needs. It's a dangerous route. For now, I'm just gonna give it what it needs. Right. All a private convoy. You join the North Sea Angle. And you go back active. And then on your return trip, the Queen Bee will join you for a little bit extra defense and cargo capacity. Uh, Alright, I was looking at potential things, but Novgorod, nah, that's not gonna happen because I don't have a crayer available. Cloth in Cologne. Mm. 50 barrels of cloth? 50? I'd have to go all the way to Visby to pick that up. And it only has just about 50. That's too much. That's just way darn too much. Alright, let's adjust your route in Visby. You'll pick up everything from the office. Could purchase cloth. Uh, how much for a cloth of a, of a weaving mill? Uh, it'd be cheaper if I have the materials at uh, at the site, but that's probably not going to happen. And besides which, I, we want to upgrade the hunting lodge. Then let's get another one. All right, you need hemp. Well, actually, I can arrange that. So the couch, though, go to Gdansk. Alright, so overall, we are a little bit down, but not too bad. Ship to office. 
Go over to Riga, dump half the hemp. Alright, let's get some more catapults. And some more swords. Well, I'm gonna go guess that it probably is the same thing again. Uh, let's see, the maximum cap 35. I think I wanted to buy cutlasses. I get that uh, as more as I use the shipyard, the better it produces ships. I kind of wish it was a little bit more, you know, linear progression rather than staggered progression like this. Like, you have now created level 2 shipyard. Your ships will now stand and have this much more space and stuff. Because that's much less confusing. Oh well, at least we have not heard anything from Beneki for a while, so I'm guessing he's probably licking his wounds. Right, well, you have not done anything. That's less than brilliant. There, that should be more than enough. I mean, how much hemp does it take to create one of you? Ten, so... Mm. I wonder how little hemp it actually uses, because clearly the number there is a number that he uses, but it's so small it can't actually fit in the digits here. Alright. We did not go negative. Well, that's very positive. Now Part of setting up the wall here is of course that I want to create my own cloth works because obviously that's also quite a useful item to have. Alright, it looks like all the beer producing is dead. So as soon as the Karsto reaches uh, Lubeck, ooh, Hamburg is also under siege. From this side, well we don't have any particular you put your breweries inside the walls. I mean, sure, that works. I can do that too, but that's expensive. All right, the queen bee looks like she's ready. So let's arm her up. And for now, we'll just uh, I'll wait until the angle gets uh, back in the uh, Marietta Eduard von Eyck. Well, the Kanchto doesn't have anything, so really, I don't know what you think you're doing. Can I outrun you, is the question. And I'm thinking no, because you are already drifting faster than me. And I just surrender. I mean, the couch too is empty, so this doesn't matter at all. Unless, unless he steals the ship. Just plunders, all right, that's fine. Very right, boys, we're gonna go on a little, a little bit of sidetrack. seems there is a little pirate in the area who wishes to have 
his face mushed in. So, we're going to have to deal with that. Kind of hoping I can catch the uh, thing. I have no idea where he'll run to. I mean, there's half a chance that the pirate will run into uh, the, the angle. Hmm. Pity. All right, go back to active. I was kind of hoping I could catch him in the act, but apparently not. All right. actually has something valuable. Hey! I just had this ship refurbished. Would you like to be its first test pilot? It's a pity that it's, he's got the wind in his favor, so I'm probably not gonna catch him. Well, actually we're both sailing against the wind, so that's not entirely true. But at this rate, I will not be able to get an angle on him. At least I don't think so. Yeah. Although he may get stranded on that rock. Only two guns? That's pitiful. I just really would do like to have the wind in my favor. Right now it's not helping me aim. Yeah, he's getting away. That is a pity. I would really like to kill you. <laughs> Although this is quite typical pirate behavior. The moment you start going a little bit offensive, they will run. Like the little beaches that they are. Right, where did he go to? Hmm. Well, for now he's out of reach. So let's just go active and back to basics. Right, the Hildegard is healing up for another four days. It's fine. Uh, overall, we're still making money. All right. Ooh, look at that! The attack was fended off. That doesn't happen every day. Seems Stettin has been very well fortified. All 
All right, that's probably enough of that. We have some goods left aboard the uh, aboard the ship. So let's just sell some off. And just dump the rest into the office. Head back to Lubeck. And that'll do for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.